This is uh, part one of hacking hardware slash robotics slash new to electricity tutorial project. All right. Um, so today I was walking down uh, the aisle in Target, and I was like, saw these things, and I was like, that's a perfect hardware hacking introduction to electricity or robotics thing. This is this is awesome. It's perfect, and, uh, and I'll show you what it was. So I walked down the aisle, and I saw this. It's a solar light set for your yard from Target and, and basically it's just like a little thing that you put in the ground and it's got a stake or whatever and, and uh, it's solar powered or whatnot. But I, I read the, the instructions on the box and there's a rechargeable battery for each one so this is like totally perfect. Let me show you what it is. Alright, so this this thing and, and so how does it work? Um, you shove it in the ground, there's a solar cell on top, there's a rechargeable battery inside um, and you turn it on and it absorbs sun during the day as soon as they're not sun turns on it lights the yard whatever so these are perfect so um, this is what a built one looks like this is gonna cost you uh, 20 to 40 dollars by the way um, 20 if you're you know mischievous and I'll show you why. or no I won't show you why but you can pick it up if you're mischievous though. Um, so anyway so the here's the device right so how do I get what I want out of it well um, it's pretty simple you just take this part off see that this isn't really anything this is just a piece of plastic these are LEDs. So um, now you have this disc. So what does this disc have in it? As a solar cell, it has some uh, a little bit of circuitry in it, and the LEDs. Okay, so we just we don't want the LEDs or whatever, but whatnot. Okay. So when you take this disc apart, it looks like this. Woo! Um, so here's the LEDs, uh, and then here's the front part of the disc and the back part. That's the solar panel, um, whatever. So we kind of want to get rid of this battery bay and probably build our own, but for right now we're not we're not really that worried about it. Um, so uh, the one thing that you do need that is uh, fourteen to twenty dollars is a multimeter. Let me show you what. Let's see. Fuck, where to put my multimeter? All right, so I uh, misplaced my multimeter, but here it is. It's one of these things. You probably want to get a digital one. Um, basically, there is a red line and a black line to the battery pack. You're going to put your red line to your red line, your black line to your black line, measure the voltage on the lowest setting, and it'll give you um, a little bit below 1.5, which makes sense because that's what a double A puts out. So that's about what it should be. Um, for a robot, we may want 1.5, we're just going to power a motor. We may want something a little higher, maybe a 3.3 if we're going to try to do like a, an Arduino chip or something. Um, so that's pretty simple. The cool thing about the multimeter is you can um, also measure resistance, which means that if you put it in between two connections, you can see if electricity would travel through there or not. So you will need one of those. Now these things, which um, four of them came in this box, uh, were about $14.99. Um, so that's pretty expensive, and that's pretty hard for most of you guys. But, you know, I don't know. When I was a kid, my neighbors had a few, so I don't, I don't know, but whatever. All right, so that's the beginning. Uh, there will be a part two, and we will have a final robot. Thanks. Bye.